Welcome back, and as usual, there are lots of uh, posts uh, from you know former students to current students, from former students to their school teachers, from current students to other students. And I'm going to be looking at some student matters or some ex former student matters right now. If you've just completed SHS and if you're looking forward to completing your tertiary education, then you know that you're going to be having a lot of free time on your hands. Now, for most people, this means that ah. It's chilling time. And you drink, you just relax. You know, you don't, you don't do nothing. You just chill, party, visit friends, occupy yourself with uh, the blessing of boredom, as some would say. <laughs> but basically, you're not trying to do anything constructive. You've just, you know, suffered and learned and struggled and hopefully done well in your exams. And now all you want to do is relax. But then there are some who say that this is the time to surge forward, to overtake when everyone is relaxing, if you want to make your way ahead of the pack, ahead of your peers, this is the time when you can really, you know, put in a little bit of extra effort and move farther ahead than you probably think is possible. And uh, one of the people that thinks so is Uncle Achu. My guest, who, as you might have noticed, is used to thinking outside the proverbial box so i'm going to play the devil's advocate i'm going to say well all i want to do is chill and uh, he's probably going to say well what you need to do now is get truly chisel work hard i wonder what you think uh, idris abdul razak you want to say a very good morning to aisha in coco research in uh, bali and all daskans reginald ayan sorry you want to know the name of the artist uh, who uh, the song is by and the title of the song and thank you, if you think I'm looking great because of the tie it's by Kwaba Samoa Custom Looks you can find them in ANC Shopping Mall uh, <laughs> Derek Garnero says good morning GH and all friends in 2H City, 2H City okay I like that, this is my first time coming across this you know, Ho Hoi, 2H City and uh, David Nakum says good morning to all Aztec students, especially Yvonne and Sis Willington and all my boys and girls keep the fire burning. Love you all. Okay, I'll read a few posts uh, a little later in the episode or in the segment. But right about now, I want to say a very good morning to Uncle Achu. How are you, sir? Fine, and you? Mm, how are the seas well, and the waves? Yeah, it's becoming <laughs> a little moisture because of the weather. <laughs> because of the weather. Yes. Uh, okay. Well. Uh, I, I, w- I want to know, you know, what you think about holidays and vacations in general, as far as uh, what students traditionally do. Some go for extra classes, some go for attachments, and others just simply, you know, take time to, to you know, to get themselves a good dose of R and R, rest and relaxation. Yeah, you see, uh, everybody has been a child before, and what I'm talking about, I've gone through it. It depends on the period. In the early times, we had a lot of factories. When we go on vacation, we all rush to the factories. And uh, when I was with Cocoa Products, what we used to do is that during that period, we send a lot of the artisans uh, on leave and we bring in the polytechnic students, the final years, especially those were the people. And when they come into the factory, they get used to what they have learned in their classroom. That is the practice. Practicals. Practicals. Yes. Practicals during vacations. That is right. Say the electrical engineers, they come, they see the motors that they have been seeing on the board. Actually, how it works. Those in the, uh, what they call it, the construction, they go carry uh, concrete and everything. So they get the feel of the profession that they want. Now, if you look at the country, we have only energy that is surplus. These students all are about. Surplus energy. Yes, surplus energy. <laughs> Is that what you call it? Yes, I call it. Uh, surplus energy. Yes, which could be tap. Tap. Yes. Well, when volunta- but I mean, voluntarily or obligatorily? I mean, are, are the students obliged to do something, would you think? Or should it be on uh, if you want to basis? Because some would say, look, work is fine. But vacations are holidays. They are for holiday in, for relaxing, not for working. That's why we have school terms and then we have vacations. It must be for a good reason. Yeah, you see, you vacate maybe for about two and a half months. About a week or two, you relax. Now, when you are in the house, you become like a leech. You start going on your uh, parents' provisions. All the food in the house will start going. 
you need pocket money and your parents will not give you enough you want to do certain things on your own and when we were young the moment we vacate uh, high school in Takoradi, the Ghana Air Force was then building their uh, quarters. So the moment we vacate, we go down there to get all jobs as uh, what you call uh, laborers and we make some little money, buy our own clothes. And uh, in Europe, I found out that the moment they vacate, they send them to a lot of industries. In Norway, for instance, you see all the boys going on the trams, driving the trams. It's very easy to drive the trams. And uh, there was an area where most of the senior boys were going, that is garbage, because they make a lot of money from the garbage. And uh, these boys are sitting down, they form uh, what they call groups, start doing all sort of mischief. So it is up to the government to try to tap it. When we were young, we had the Boy Scouts, then the Kwame Kumar brought in the Pioneers, and then the Catholics brought in the CYO, and then the Boys Brigade. You know, this organizations kept the boys busy during the period some went to learn to play table tennis i remember the quay brother they used to go to the ymca they had a what you call it community centers then also some of them had to be transported i remember the uh, pioneers they used to be sent to other places now when you go to other places you see new things you make new friends and get involved in certain things that when you are in accra it becomes more or less like a mirage when you hear that some people are drinking water which is like uh, coffee you know so these are areas that the government should think of because when these boys are there those people whose parents have cars they start stealing their father's car driving causing all sort of mischief but maybe they want to learn how to drive yes they learn to look my son ha had that problem the wife my wife traveled outside and one day I went to the garage and I found the, my wife's car very warm. It's driving attachment. It's exactly what you're talking about. Yes, you, you but he hadn't learned to drive. You see, that is the issue. They want to experiment with anything. And then when you are experimenting without guidance, that is where the danger is. Okay, so what has changed over the years? Is it that uh, the guidance or the opportunities have uh, just disappeared or are lacking? Or is it the spirit of wanting to learn something, do something new that has waned in our young people? What do you think it is? You see, the problem has been with our government, the youth, uh, what you call ministry, and then the social welfare. They should try and come together to make sure that they, they nurture these boys. If I had to be in the government, what I would have do every summer, I will move one, maybe a 10,000 from uh, the west to east, east to west. Just change them, see. You remember when we went to those days? When summer we had, camps. Yes, yeah, summer camps. In the, in the early uh, 60s, we had, to, we had the United States bringing in the uh, voluntary work camps. They come all from the U.S., and then some of us also joined them to build schools and all sort of projects around. And we made so friends. You, you think we should send some uh, people over to the United States to help them out? If you're going they, they've had a number of disasters, you know, the hurricanes and yes, the floods. Yes, yes, We should send some of our graduates over to the U.S. for summer camps. Is that what you're saying? Return the, the favor. If the money is there, yes. You see, because that would also... Good question. The money, who pays for all of this? Where's the money going to come from? The tax will pay. The ta tax will pay? Yes. What, what are we going to tax? No, we, we do all sort of things. I mean, there are taxes that we pay, both direct and indirect taxes that we pay. And what does the government use it for? You see, the problem is that if you don't think of the youth and you let them go unguided, they become a menace to the society. And the most difficult or the most dangerous thing is that somebody with a clever mind that you don't harness, he goes to the crime and you are in trouble. You see, so the, the duty of the government is, I won't say we start uh, I mean, like uh, uh, an avalanche. You try to say that in the western region, maybe you move about 10,000 uh, people to go to Ashanti. They will get to know the, uh, the, the, the state of the Ashantis, live with them, learn and do everything. Then they get to understand the Ashantis. When the Ashantis also calm down, uh, I am an ever. You know, uh, I'm not, uh, that is uh, the southern part. And when we were growing up, we grew up in the Fanti, and the trouble we had, it was literally when people went to the Amna land, they got to know that, oh, we had a different culture. You see, these are some of the things that we should try to do to help the children, because we all try to live up 
to struggle to make life but we are not thinking about the end of life that is when we go on retirement and these boys should be pushed into the system gradually guiding them on a national scale uh, do you think we could start this uh, on a pilot scale how do you think you know we can uh, rekindle this uh, sort of program this activity summer camps uh, internships placements considering the economic and the social reality that we find ourselves in you see the whole thing is that we have to sit down the unfortunate thing in this country is that people will have ideas about who did they have to approach to put these ideas into when you walk to the ministry with such a thing somebody tell you just forget it but these are some of the things we should try and then nurture our youth into the adulthood i hope i hope you understand what i mean nurture the youth into the adulthood sometimes somebody says i want to be an engineer but the moment he gets into and he sees the audience of the, uh, the, the 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 profession he backs up i have a, a niece who wanted to be a nurse she went down there the first time she saw blood she fainted so she quickly had to divert and do another thing you know testing it trying it that is what will make the people know that i'm going into the world and what we learn in the classroom we meet up only one tenth of it in the in our social life the mathematics you did in school you will meet it again the dy dx you will meet it again you see what i mean but you will see that there is application that is what we call apply science apply this you apply what you learn into the vocation that you want to get into that's a really good point you've raised about uh, letting students and graduates become familiar with the actual practical environments that, uh, that they've been studying in theory in the classroom. Do you think that this could be done in the short term? Well, they used to do it. Uh, those days, people from tech, the, the final year no, Not a visit, uh, maybe two no, or no, three no. months. No, no, the they come into the industry to learn. Uh, people from this they go into you see one thing i found about this country is that many of the top people don't want to go and leave you know to enable their subordinates come into the seat to also know what is happening i haven't heard of any managing director go and leave unless the government asked him to go and leave compulsorily you see what i mean when you are a leader you should go off the subordinate comes he will make mistakes but that is also the art of learning and also try to make sure that you develop a success at one or two. But you see people going and leave, and they, they ask for leave, and they want to stay because of certain, uh, uh, what do you call, I don't know. But if these boys, I had practiced it because when we were in Coco Products, normally we take about 60 students from Polytechnic and everybody. And they, in fact, we normally, after the uh, vacation employment, some of them reapply to. Uh, for employment and we got it because they have been just adjusted to the type of uh, job we do okay well uncle at your time has run out for us but i think that you know you've raised a very interesting uh, point what to do with uh, vacation free time for secondary post uh, senior high school and uh, post tertiary students and i think that you know this bit about uh, getting uh, to experience and uh, getting familiar with an environment that might be your chosen field it could be quite useful because if you do two or three months uh, in attachment or as an intern that's quite different from a short visit or maybe uh, other possibilities possible opportunities that you may have had during the course of the day. i want to thank you very much uh, for sharing your thoughts and your ideas with me and with the viewers as usual and uh, i want to say a very big thank you to everyone who's uh, joined and who is still joining